p.m. mountain time and we take junk or stuff that we've got close to free and we turn it into home decor that we use or sell at our shop here in Lehigh. So these were given to us a while back from the previous shop owner. She didn't feel like moving these or needing these. Um, and we got four of them, so we're gonna add feet to this. I've already added the pieces. We'll lean this back and show you in a minute how I did that. I'm gonna show you what this dresser looked like before because we have to do a little bit of prep work because we only have an hour for the live. And so it takes a little bit more than an hour, especially with dry time. So let me pull up the dresser real quick and I'll bring it to you. We're doing this fun yellow color on here. This is a mix. What is it? Two parts queen bee, one part beadboard, right? Yep, so this is what it looked like before. It's got kind of like beadboard paneling on the sides, definitely a homemade project. Um, we got a free some time ago and it used to live in Eliza's closet in our last house and it's been living on the back porch since we moved in January. January. <laughs> yeah. So it needs to be redone. Um, we are going to try to get to it, we might not, but it had these original like brassy knobs and we're going to actually put molds on them to give them a little extra detail. We're going to be using the new IOD Trimmings 3. And where's the twall transfer? I don't know where you did. Oh, it's over on the dining table. Would you grab that? So when we were in Round Top, I found the most gorgeous mustard dresser with twall on it that I had ever seen. And mustard's not merely my jam. And so when IOD came out with this, I knew that I wanted to try to like recreate that. Um, the dresser was somewhere in the thousand-ish dollar range. <laughs> this one is not going to be that. So we <laughs> Deb showed you, just showed you the color, right? All this right. is a mix. Throw this paint on there real quick. Okay, can you show them the two colors that we started it with while I paint this yeah. drawer? So beadboard, this color is one part beadboard and two parts queen bee, which kind of looks like that. You can see Jamie's already touched the... Yeah. The jars. <laughs> the new color is in the same like family of Queen Bee. It's just a little more muted, which the wallpaper was. It wasn't quite as deep, so I just made my own to get close. Here, Zeb, you want to paint that? You're looking like... No. Okay. I'm just, as soon as you get done putting that coat on there, I'm going to move it, flip this over, and put the feet on. Okay. Do you want to take those other dresser drawers that I've already done outside? So yes. Right? I will move these outside so you guys don't have to hear the heat gun so much. Hopefully the sun will do some work. We're not saying we won't use the heat gun, but then maybe not as much. So when I'm in a hurry and I'm painting drawers, I'll put the paint on kind of thick. And then I just carefully swipe it across. I won't be able to do this to the base of the dresser. It's going to take a couple coats. But since these are going to be laying flat, we won't get any dripping on the top. Because this paint underneath is super slick and shiny, and I did not sand it. We only wiped it down. We've got major drips over here. It's like melting ice cream. <laughs> Hold on. Grab those drips. Go across the top. There we go. I'm going to put this down on the floor for you. I'm going to pull up the comments. Uh, if you guys are on here because you got a text message, let us know. If you don't get our text messages, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, which is where we sell our paint and the IOD, on the bottom, when you first hit jamierayvintage.com, you'll get a pop-up and it asks for your phone number and then you can get text messages for things like sales, new products, and also for things like live videos or edited videos. So, all right, all the drawers are out and Zeb is gonna show you how he fixed the bottom of this because these style dressers, you can't necessarily just put feet on because they usually don't have a solid bottom. And so Zeb has a way to add wood to the bottom to make it solid. And the other thing too, is I find that the dresser winds up being a lot more sturdy once we do this. So it's kind of a two edged sword. I'll pull up comments while Zeb flips this over to show you guys. All right, so this morning, right before the video, I just took two by six on the front, two by four on the back, nailed them in from the sides and the front. and. You know, you could use wood putty. I've been using paper clay to fill most holes and things just because it's so easy. You can paint it while it's still wet. It doesn't take stain, so if you're wanting something to take stain, use a wood putty that takes stain. I mean, it does, it will accept a stain, but it's gonna look different than, than the wood does. Robin says she's literally wearing this exact same color. Nice. 
It's a great summer color. It really reminds me of sunflowers. It's, it's right in that family. All right, so now that I've got that on there, okay, so pre-drilled these holes. All I did was I measured to the center of this, and then I measured in, measured in, made a little X, and then drilled on the inside of that. I don't really want these to come off. They, I mean, if you really work at it, you can. But to add some extra strength, just got some wood glue on there. This is uh, Type Bond 2 wood glue. And these have a long threaded bolt on them. I drilled it just a little bit smaller. So I think this is a 5 16 And I drilled it right at a quarter inch. And it's threading in nicely. It's going to make me work for it. I'm going to get all sweaty on the video here. You get sweaty all the time. I know. I was so, all day yesterday working on the sprinklers. It was hot. And today it's cooling down, but it's humid because it's going to rain. Thank goodness. We need rain. I don't know if it'll be enough. We need, like, days oh, of rain. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, if you don't have rain and it's real dry, then you get flooding. So you kind of want, like, rain, you know, over the course of a while. So all I did on these, you could screw these boards in, but I just took my 15 gauge nailer and two and a half inch nail, four places in the front and three on the, each side, and that'll be plenty to hold this in. I also glued that in. All right, that's tight and that's sturdy. It also sturdied up the bottom of this homemade dresser too. That's what I was telling them that it helps. So if you guys have ordered the new IOD already, we're gonna start shipping on Thursday and it will be shipped out in order of how we got them ordered. So like whoever ordered first will get the first because we have shipments coming in over a period of time. So like our first wave is coming and we're shipping those out and then the next wave is coming and the next wave. Um, so we will, maybe you ordered a few days later or whatever. So not everybody will obviously get shipped on the first day, but we are starting as of Thursday to ship out all the new IOD. In fact, we went to the shop last night, what, like nine o'clock? Yeah. Because we got a notification that UPS had dropped off I dropped IOD. Off late and DIY paint, and so we don't like to let it sit on the back porch, so we put it in because we have a gal that ships very early in the morning for us, like four or 5 a.m. she comes in while her kids are sleeping, and so we wanted to pull that in so that way she could get started shipping out the other orders, so that way tomorrow they can really hit the ground running, but say an extra prayer for Ivy. She has been under the weather for the last, like, two days. She's starting to feel a little bit better, but obviously we can't come her in, have her come in while she's sick, so we need her to feel better just so she feels better, but also so she can ship out your goodies. But either way, we're good. We've got a great team that'll get your stuff out. And these are not gonna come off of here. Well, you guys can't even see that bottom one hardly. <laughs> these are in there really well. The two by four and the two by six will come off before these feet come off. Oh yeah, so the links are not made until the video is created. So there is a little bit of delay from when Caitlin gets the link from us to when the texts go out. So the, sometimes the texts don't go out before the live video or they're just a few minutes delayed um, after that. We do our best to be organized and on time and get the live set up and get the link to Caitlin, but there is a little bit of, uh, of it doesn't actually happen on All right, the sides. There is some human involvement in there, which makes it difficult. Okay, can we? I think you, if you start, want, you I'm can probably paint start painting the sides and the no, feet. No, I want to paint the feet because they're going to be a pain once you flip it. Okay. So the feet are actually going weathered wood because the piece that I had had dark feet. And so I'm going to try to paint neat so it doesn't drip down onto my floor. When I'm painting things that are cylindrical, I like to go side to side, even though the wood grain does not go that way because it just lays the paint on so much better. Nobody's going to see the wood grain. So Chasing Sunshine by Veronica wants to know about what our business coaching is. She went to boot camp with some people that were in our business coaching and she's curious. So business coaching, we go live once a week on Facebook in a private group. And then we also answer questions throughout the week. The to pay for business coaching is actually done on YouTube. It's a level of channel membership. I believe it's like 30 ish dollars a month. And YouTube takes care of payment, which is great, so we don't have to do it. But we don't actually run the group on YouTube. We, we run it on Facebook because YouTube doesn't have a group setting, and so it doesn't allow us to be as interactive. So we started a Facebook group for that business coaching. So that way, not only can we do our videos, but people can ask questions, they can tag us, they can collaborate with each other, and it allows it to be a lot more interactive. Maybe someday YouTube will have a similar situation to private groups, but until then, we run it there. So when you sign up to be in business coaching, 
you get directions, but there is an email that you email your information to, and then Mariah will add you to the Facebook group. That's a lot and of that's about it. And we cover, sorry, we cover everything from like YouTube to websites to how to run your business, and we also save and organize every live video, so if you join later, you have homework, <laughs> and you can catch up on stuff we've already talked about. I think that's it. We don't talk a lot about business coaching because not everybody's super interested in it, but it is something that's fun and we do it every week. We take off uh, four weeks a year. So we're actually going to be taking off the week after July 4th. Margie is about to close on a 100-year-old home in Florida. Oh, fun. Margie, Margie Ramsey? Or Margie, no. somebody else? Bridget? Bridget? Oh. Michelle, I don't get uh, DMs that go to my personal Facebook, but if you DM me on my business page or you email customercare at jamierayvintage.com or jamieray at jamierayvintage.com, Caitlin gets those email and forwards them to me. Ty, I did love Jamie's Father's Day video. She did it while I was napping. His Father's Day nap. <laughs> Truth be told, we nap like every Sunday, but on Father's Day, I don't wake him up. Because otherwise, she, Zep is a, I will Zep's nap like for four, four or five hours because I, like, I, I feel like I need like. Yeah, but then he doesn't go to bed till two or three a.m. I like to be up at Monday. night when it's cooler, it's dark. I don't like bright sunshine, and I live like in these vampire. dry western states my whole life. Anytime I go to like Washington or Oregon, I'm in heaven. So normally on Sunday, <laughs> after like two hours or when the kids start bugging me, I'm like, okay, it's time to get up. But on Father's Day, it's an unadulterated nap. We just let him walk, lay down, and ironically, you only slept like three hours. One left to your own devices. All right. Now that my forearms are burning, it's a good workout. All right, I'm also going to work out. I'm painting these. Those are on there tight. I'm in weathered wood, and then I'm also going to do the top in weathered wood. And I got some on my arm. The top. Oh, the top of the dresser. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to pull that down so they can see that happen? Um, I'd put it right down here. Why don't you floor. put like something on the floor? Mm, it'll be all right. These yeah. have these have little knobs. Unless you painted those, it's not no, gonna I get on. No, I did not paint those. It's okay. not gonna get on the floor. Hold on, let me finish painting. And even if it does, we have a project coming up anyway. Yeah, we gotta repaint the floors. So I the floors them. looked amazing, and they were really great for a long time. But then we did six months more of construction in the house, and we used this side of the house because it was done to store like tools and. Uh, vanities and all kinds of stuff and it was open to the other part of the house so it got all dusty from everybody walking in and out of it and gross from all the construction. Oh and, and then Zeb walked in on with oil wax all over his feet right over there and so I hit it with a sander one night at like two in the morning in a fit of manic construction and, rage. Yeah and it's like still sanded. <laughs> so we need to refinish floors. Anyways. We need to redo the floors. All right you can. I think they would have held up really great if we had left them, let them sit properly and cure. Susan, I do sell my top. Um, you can kind of see it here. And it's flowy on the bottom. It comes in this color and black. And I think we still have some left. If Caitlin can find that link, that's on our home website on JRV Home. So I will have her link that for you. The nice thing about the top on this dresser is that there's a little bit of a lip, which makes it very easy to two-tone without taping, which is kind of my favorite. All right. Have we ever done a video on replacing side rails on dressers? I think we do have dresser drawer repair videos. I have dresser drawer repair um, video. If you just look up Jamie Ray Vintage um, drawer repair, it should come up, or furniture repair too. I think if one of those two, there's a whole playlist um, on, on the channel with about 10, 12 videos that are just about furniture repair for the most part. Do you want to, oh, they're still drying. Yeah, they're okay. still drying out there. I'll go check them. We also need to put a coat of sealer on them, so we might have to bust out the heat gun. So we have our drawers out drying. Those are what's going to get the twall on it. We're not going to twall the whole thing, although that would the also The sun is doing work. work. They're actually looking pretty dry. I love I'm summer. I'm going to grab some sealer. Okay. I probably won't get two coats on this while we're live, but you kind of get the idea of the two-tone. I will come back later and put a second coat on this and seal it really good. But this dresser's kind of boring. And I find like when you two-tone stuff and you add transfers and feet, you can take a really cheap, boring dresser that's solid and make it way more exciting. 
who doesn't want an exciting dresser? Oops, I got a little bit on the side here. So one of the things that I do a lot is I lay the paint down and then I smooth it out. So if it's bugging you that there's like little brush strokes here, just know that I will be fixing it. Just have to work fast before the paint starts drying. And I'm trying to be a little bit neater because even though I am going to refinish my floors, I'm probably not doing them today, so I'm trying to Now I'm going to do long strokes. And All right, we do not have a lot of liquid top coat here. <laughs> We've been using it and we mostly wax things because we love the way that it looks. Well, I think Mariah has my big gallon of top coat. I think I lent it to her from Project. I can't remember, maybe I did. Maybe it's at a shop. I don't know if I gave her white wax or top I coat. I think we've got enough to brush on the, the tops of the drawers. Okay. I'm getting a little weathered wood on the side, so we might just wipe that off before we paint it so that way it's not like sheer. I think, I think we've got enough to do the door tops. Are we going to wait and distress the drawers after we have the transfers on them, or are you going to do those um, first? You might should run lightly run the orbital on them outside real quick, and then bring them in, and we'll seal them. We can start painting this dresser, though. I got the top done. Left me here. There we go. <laughs> it's not a very heavy dresser, lest you think I'm very strong. Once you take the drawers out, it's pretty lightweight. Alright, let me take those questions. Jamie, is this a Swiss dot shirt? It is Swiss dot, but it has like ruffles on the sleeves. If you can't find a link, let me know and I can look for it. I'm gonna put that right there. I thought you were gonna sand these outside. No, we'll just sand them right here. No, I want it done with the orbital. Oh, you want orbital? You want that much sanding? Okay. Well, well then a light soft. You sand better be entertaining while you sit there. I am. Can you do a light <laughs> soft sand on the top and then around the edges? <laughs> you should see the face he just gave me. So you could totally sand these by hand, but I love the way the orbital takes stuff off. So he's gonna use 220 sandpaper and sand those for me. And if you've never seen that done, if you watch like any of our thousand videos where we use a sander, you can see it's pretty much our standard go-to for distressing. All right, let me see. I'm gonna click the link that Caitlin put in here and make sure, yes, Caitlin, that is the shirt that I'm wearing and it comes in black in this color. Just looking to see. My house has copper gutters and there are a few leaks on one. Can they be patched? Um, copper should be able to be soldered, I would think. Um, but I'm not a gutter expert, so I don't know. Maybe I'll ask Zeb when he comes back in here. All right, I'm gonna get the body of this painted with our mustard mixture here. This is really shiny, so it's probably gonna take two coats for full coverage. Depends on how thick I lay it on. We call it like a coat and a half. Yellow is actually notorious for not covering well, but this clean B, because of the shade and tone of yellow, covers really well. Is this enough? What? Is this enough distressing? Let me see. Oh, that's good. This one, this one had a little more. It's asking a lot of this really fresh paint that's sun dried 10 minutes to, uh, awesome. to distress job. it. <laughs> it's, but it, it held on pretty good. It didn't zing all of it off. So. Just gotta be gentle. Don't I'll worry. do those other three drawers. Those are, if you want to seal those real quick, okay. there's some sealer so do, right there. Do you want to move the camera for me real quick? Because I know you don't want to touch it. And I'll seal those. So you do not have to seal before you use a transfer, like it's not required, but you, it's going to give you the best results. And depending on the paint that you use, if it's really like a dusty type paint, it's really a, a good idea. So because we're live, we don't have a lot of time to let this cure, we like to do a top coat first. You can use Sweet Pickens Top Coat or DIY Big Top. When you're doing transfers, it's really important to remember that you want to use something that's non-toxic, water-based, and gentle. I hear horror stories of people trying to use other products that are not all natural and they're a little bit more harsh, and it's not good for the transfers because things with lots of chemicals 
Here's a little science lesson. Things with lots of chemicals do what's called off-gassing, and they let off gas, essentially, after they dry. So while they're drying or if the temperature changes, they're letting off this gas, and it can cause the transfers to peel up or curl. So I always suggest using something all natural, water-based. And it's probably best to let your top coat still dry overnight. I never do, but I'm a rebel. All right, so I've just got one thin coat, top coat. And sometimes I paint top coat on and then I let it dry, I do the transfer and then I seal again with wax. I don't always top it with um, top coat. You can actually put transfers over wax as well, but in that case, the wax needs to be really, really dry. You don't want uncured um, wax and then a transfer. That's never a good idea. Are those ready for me to take back outside? Um, yeah. It's probably the best bet. Yeah, it's better than the heat gun. For it's faster. Ones. I mean, that's crazy how fast these got dry. I've got one drawer that's got a little streak on it that's not quite dry. You know, and it's a little bit humid today, even, and it's drying good. Well, it's already like 95 out there. All right, these two are ready to go. You can see that when we um, put the top coat on, it gets a little bit richer in color, and then when it dries completely, it'll be a little bit lighter. The clay paint is the opposite of latex. So latex dries darker normally, and clay paint will dry lighter and then gets darker when it's sealed. Think of like wet dirt. You know how when dirt dries out, which is basically what clay is, it gets lighter and then when you get it wet, it gets darker. Same concept, but with paint. What would also be cute in a dresser like this would be to um, like decoupage the inside of the drawers. And I am considering doing a mustard toile print because it's been on my mind since we went to Round Top. I don't know that it's gonna happen right away, but don't be surprised if you get a new decoupage paper that looks similar to this because it's a look that I love. Jackie, I'm live, sweetie. Okay, just put it on the table and go around back. Jack just got back from football camp and Roger just left. Mariah and I are carpooling. So she's picking up Jack, dropping off the boys, and then I pick them back up. All right, bye, Jack. <laughs> You're all hot and sweaty. All right. Put your cleats off. Last one to be sealed. Are you going to have enough? No, I have two to seal it. Can you take this one out, though? Yep. Yeah. You need help with your cleats, Zeb. Would you ask Eliza to come inside and help him with his cleats? Yeah. Uh, can you come inside and go help him with his cleats? Yeah. Right now, we've got two girls in summer cheer. The boys had football camp. They don't actually start practice. Redrick will start. Well, Redrick's already started one day a week conditioning. They don't start full time practice till like beginning of August. Fall is busy around here, but winter is even busier because wrestling season and winter sports for cheer is crazy. Because basketball has multiple games a week, and then there's wrestling, and it's nuts. Are we going yellow on the rest of this body? Yeah, so the rest of the body is going yellow except for the top yeah. and the feet. So try not to get... Is that going to go on okay where you... I was going to wipe that dark off so we didn't have to try to cover I, it. I think it'll be fine. It's... Did you two coats? Yeah, this, I mean, I might heat gun it right there. This stuff's thick. This DIY paint's good for it. All right. Yeah, these are the last two. I'll take those out and then I'll look at comments. We're doing good. It's only 1028. All right, cruising. We, we tried to be on top of it. Oops. If you're just catching us, definitely watch the replay so you can see what this dresser looked like before. And I will update the thumbnail once it's all finished to show it before and then after on the thumbnail. And maybe I'll post it in community too. Put all the places. Put all all the places on all the socials. At some point, this drawer was orange, and there's just a little tiny hint of orange peeking out. All right, these are done. We had just enough top coat. 
I had to mix two. All right. Let's show you what he's doing. Eliza's out there trimming the grass with scissors around Jamie's lavender in the front. <laughs> I'm gonna spin this around so you guys can watch watch the paint go on and then watch it dry. It's amazing. Paint drying is very exciting. I was gonna swap and have you work on the knobs. I'll work on the knobs in a sec. Oops, got a little weathered wood on my brush. All right, this is the uh, slap it on there and then smooth out your brush strokes method. I mean, other than those drawers that Jamie had painted, we're going to pretty much finish this whole thing in an hour, two people. So if you're one person, two hours. And if you're not filming and stuff like teaching, it actually goes a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay, so we have the IOD Trimmings 3 mold. Right here on the bottom, there's like a fan looking one. And we're going to use that in little pieces to cover up these brass knobs. Really, I don't hate them. They're kind of tarnished and cool, but the color is just not good with the mustard. So, and I wanted to give them a little bit more extra detail. So these will probably get done in weathered wood and like a white wax. I don't know, but we're gonna, I haven't done this, or if I have, it's been a while, I don't remember, but I thought it'd be fun. Let me check comments. You're doing a good job, I'll just let you keep painting. You're gonna do that? Um, well, you're almost done, you just do the other side. Yep. And yes, I'm sitting on my island. <laughs> but I am wearing I can't get one of my socks off. Okay. Oh, Zeb, Margie wanted to know if she had copper gutters, if they can be patched. I think so, right? Can they be Copper soccer? gutters? Um, yeah, I've not tried copper gutters before, sealing them or patching them, but I mean, you can probably just put some silicone, some mixed tough exterior silicone and then well, I was thinking maybe just you could rivet them on. Patch or something. Yeah, you could braise them. The dresser is solid wood, which is nice. The sides are like a solid pine beadboard. It's tongue and groove. And the rest of it is wood. The only part that isn't wood on this dresser is the backer board. It is like a particle MDF type backer board, which is a pretty standard issue. Um, it's homemade though. It's kind of cool. Oops. Deb says, I'm not typically a yellow person, but I like the color that you mixed. I'm not a yellow person either, and that's why when I saw this dresser in Round Top, I was pleasantly surprised. Don't Jack, you're going to kick the tripod. Jack, you where are you go. headed, buddy? Go that no, way. No, go that way. Uh-uh. It's not happening. I'm hungry. You just had a bowl of cereal. You'll be that fine. That wasn't cereal. Okay, shh. Get a cheese stick and don't have it come apart. Come on. Let's <laughs> stop coming football, out. Football, uh camp is hard. It is hard, especially when mom and dad are live. Grab a cheese stick. All right. Um, let me get back to questions here. Oh, Tracy says your lives are the only time it's enjoyable to watch paint dry. What were they talking about? Oh, the dresser. So when we were round top and I saw this, I was like, Ooh, I do like that. I think it's important like as a furniture designer, painter, whatever we are, um, that you take a time to look at things outside of what you're doing to get ideas for new concepts Because sometimes I think oh, I wouldn't like that or I never thought to put that together But then I go somewhere else and I see something different and it totally is like oh, yeah That like fits my vibe and my design and it you know, I wouldn't have thought of that Did you just paint? Yep, I got your foot. I'll get it my foot. Well, I'm gonna wipe it off so that way it dries fast And there's a drip here Right. It's still better to paint the feet first because I hate trying to like reach around the bottom. I always miss a spot. Well, this weather wood is going to cover that up in about two seconds. All right. What color paint name are you using? So this is Queen Bee, two parts Queen Bee to one part bead board, and we mix that together to create a more muted Queen Bee. Queen Bee in itself is great, but I wanted to kind of recreate the look that I saw. 
So can you add molding before everything is cured? Um, yes. Uh, you just have to glue it on. We're going to be just putting it directly on these knots. All right, so I'm going to spin this punch. back around, and then we're going to start making. Caitlin says some he's molds. a growing boy. He's starving. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I should just teach him that Grandma keeps like crackers and stuff in her room, and then he can go in there. All right, we're going to flip that around for you to see it. But Seb's going to show you what we're doing here. Where's the um? Did we get out the cornstarch for the mold? Uh, no, I'll go grab that real okay. fast. You're up close and personal. Uh, Donna wants to know when I'm going to use fire starter. Um, it's probably like Halloween. <laughs> Fall, you're going to see fire starter come out. <laughs> In case you guys don't know what fire starter is, it's Home Depot orange. Debbie begs to differ, but she makes fun of my very favorite apothecary, so I feel like I can make fun of fire starter. When that color came out, Zeb and I both saw the jar, saw the jar uh, and I was like, Zeb, is this Home Depot orange? He's like, sure is. And we know because we're at Home Depot like five, six times a week. <laughs> it's really great to mix and blend with stuff, but I don't Can you blend colors with DIY paint? Mm -hmm. Blend, blend what colors? Like DIY paint blends beautifully with itself. Um, any water-based paint can really mix well together. So you could blend other colors. We have the pigments that just came out. I'll take my foot off Let's camera. Let's see, one, two, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. And the pigments you can blend with the paint. We didn't get sent any pigments early, just the micas, but once we get that, we'll show you guys how to mix those. Let's see if I can get down on the I'm screen. Okay, got these all powdered up. That's just cornstarch. It helps the mold come out real nice. Karen, we actually have some videos on blending paint, so just look up Jamie Ray Vintage Blended Paint and you can watch us do also it. Also a, a playlist week. on that. Yeah. Full playlist. We don't do it a ton, because I'm more of like a chippy, chunky, layered person, but we always try everything, so we've got videos on it too. I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know, we've, we've got over a thousand videos now. We hit 225 million views last week, and some of our old videos, you know, some people find them, but if you've subscribed in the last year, it's probably been mostly house videos. Yeah, so if you look on the old ones, I didn't know we hit 25 million channel views. I knew we were close. Yep. So Zeb's doing it different than I, I normally roll it. Jamie like rolls steak. it out. I like to just mush it in there real tight. What's the difference between micas and pigments? So the micas are just shiny. Like think mica in rocks, you know, aren't those the ones that are shiny? Yeah and then the pigments are just color pigment. The other thing about the pigments is we sell milk paint that's just a base that has no tint in it, and you can literally take pigment, put it in the milk paint, and make that color paint. So as soon as I get my pigments in that I've ordered, which I'm hoping will be this week or next, um, then I will play around with making milk paint using the pigments. So these IOD molds, have this patented micro rim so you're not going to get this anywhere else and you can just literally just drag your finger across and it just gets the right perfect height in the mold and cuts it as you do it. A lot of people use like a palette knife or something to cut it but you can do it with your finger. You don't, you don't have to have fancy stuff. Will we sell the dresser? Yeah. I think Jamie's mom has d dibs I on know. it. She was eyeballing it in here earlier. <laughs> She eyeballs everything we make, but she has a dresser in the garage waiting for and her. Then, if you go to jrbhome.com, we actually have all of our furniture listed there, and then we also sell it in our shop. On the website, it already has um, shipping included, so and it costs about three hundred ish dollars to ship a dresser. So, like, if you see a dresser that's like five ninety five, in the shop it would be two ninety five. But I like to include the shipping in the price, so that way people aren't surprised. We used uh, this one in uh, video just the other day. Yeah, on that topiary. Um, Donna, the transfer does repeat. It's made to line up, so we'll show you how to do that in a little bit. I think we're gonna just drop that right on that knob like that. Let me, I'm gonna go grab a butter knife and cut the rest I'll of I'll grab the up. butter knife, I'm not here. Okay. Have oh, I've got one right here from when I was opening oh, paint. All right, can we po poke that up a little? I feel weird at that angle. They're watching what I'm doing. There we go, I think that's good. They can see you if you come right I'm gonna here. come on the back end of the table here. Yeah. So I'm going to make eight of these. This will do five. And I'm just going to cut these out and then reuse the clay, the excess clay. 
So the thing about these that is cool is that they fit together. So if you didn't watch our video from last Friday, I think it was last Friday when we did the collab video with all of our friends, we showed you how to, was it Friday? It was Friday. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we showed you how to make, use these and have them line up. It's been a long week. Jamie's been yesterday, Jamie drug me to two different houses because she's like, every, I drug you every, you about you once a month. Screaming? About once a month, she gets a, let's go look at a house that we might be able to flip bug. And we go run, look at one real quick. Hey, I got to text Jessica this morning and see if she talked to our broker and maybe we'll put an offer on that house. You never know. Yeah. If, if we do get this one there, we might start a whole separate channel just on like doing that quick flip on and the house. And it's a little house. It's like 700, 700 square, square, feet. square feet. But lots what makes it great. Yeah. If you watch Jamie's stories, we talk all about it. Okay, so I've got five of those. Now I've got, this is the extra I trimmed off. Tina says she'd love to see my stash in the garage. It's pretty impressive. Between the garage and the back porch of the shop, I'm a solid hoarder. I should have a storage unit, but I refuse to pay money for a storage unit because then you have a storage unit and then you still have stuff in your garage and on the back porch. So having a smaller storage space forces me to deal with the situation that is my junk. And if you ever come to my retail store, you happen to see the back porch, it is what it is. I was telling We're you, fix it the front of the store is cute. The back of the store, I mean, it depends on what you think is cute. We're, we're, we're going to fix that here shortly. Once the, once the church is done, we'll have more than enough room to store stuff. And if Jamie starts filling up rooms, I will kindly remind her, hey, we got to finish some of this. So on Facebook and Instagram, I do stories. There's also YouTube stories. I'm not as good at posting on there. They I told, stay up for a lot longer. Yeah, I asked them to take charge of that. and I don't take the pictures you take. Yeah, <laughs> but if you go to Facebook or Instagram and go on stories, you can still see the little house. It was really dirty, but surprisingly, it didn't smell. No, it wasn't smelly. Nobody had a cat or smoked in that house. Thank goodness. That Leslie said, that's me. I'll never get a storage unit. True that. Uh, Odelia busted about McDonald's for all of her friends. Because you just spent a lot of money. Yeah, I just got a notification. She spent $24 at McDonald's. <laughs> so my daughter's half- When you're a teenager, it's, uh, hey, can you buy me this and I'll Venmo you later? That is true. <laughs> so my daughters both have these green light cards and when they work at the shop, that's where their pay goes and their debit cards that I get a little bit of control over because I can see where every um, purchase is made and they can move money around to like savings or shop main spending or whatever and I can add money and take money away and it's been a, so nice to have. Like when Odilia wants cash. a dress that uh, is a little uh, more than we would spend on a dress or a swimsuit that's hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like Facebook, but you do Instagram, um, and the nice thing about Instagram is you can actually just follow the people you want to, and you can make it just like a follow page, if that makes sense, and don't do personal stuff. Um, and you can see it on there too. I actually mainly post on Instagram, and it just automatically shares it to my Facebook. So I just let it do that. Leslie says, I forget to go to Instagram. It happens. We'll try to keep stories up to date here on YouTube too. It's kind of a three ring circus trying to keep it all together. All right, so Zeb has these all cut out now, even though that was one long piece, and we're going to glue them. Let's see if we've got them on glue. I'm on the last of this too. Are you saying that that glue is a situation? Should I take these out so that way they can sit? So these flat? tubes are about 11, 12 bucks and they last us, oh, probably a good six months. And you guys see how many videos we put up and, and projects we do. You know, I don't know why we don't keep a backup, but because it lasts so long, you're like, oh, I'm good. I have a lot. And then all of a sudden one day you're out of glue. I think I'm gonna share glue with these. All right, we're getting close to we're gonna put the transfer on in just a little bit. The transfer. We're just waiting on some stuff to dry. Okay, so real simple. I've just got real good coverage all on the back and I'm forming that kind of around the edges a little bit. I think I'm gonna, here, I'll do this. I wanna kind of mold it over so a it's got more. like a flat edge, yeah. Okay. You did glue all the way around, right? Yep, it's got full coverage glue. You want lots of glue, especially around the edges because you don't want, people are gonna be grabbing this and you don't want it to pop up. So I'm just pulling that edge of the clay down over my knob. I think it'll be easier to glue this than the mold. Look at that. Just make sure it gets all over. Yep. 
And when it's painted, it'll all kind of look like one piece. One down, you go. This is a great way to this, make This reminds over. me of like little beehives. Oh, I thought they were like little, they look like little architectural details. Yeah. Or beehives. Um, I think it's a really good way to save salvage old knobs that maybe aren't that interesting, but you want to reuse. Knobs are expensive. Yeah, you can spend on, so we have eight knobs. If you go and get them on sale, a lot of times they're still like three fifty, four dollars even on sale. One pack of paper clay, which you wouldn't even use that much. Times eight knobs, what's that? Yeah, one pack of paper clay is $24. Like 12 bucks, and you could probably get a couple sets of knobs easy out of it. Oh, I didn't even use, I didn't even use an eighth of that to do these. These will crack as they dry, which is something that we love. Um, if you didn't want them to crack, you can use resin, and then while they're still drying, when they're not all the way dry, you can mold them and glue them, and then you could tape them on, and that would also work, but you wouldn't be able to mush the edges like I'm doing here to make it look a little more seamless. Does the Gorilla Glue construction come in white? It's clear, right? It has a clear, and this is, this is white. The, what we use comes out white. Yeah. I'll show you on this knob. Make sure it's the construction adhesive, not just traditional Gorilla Glue, or you will. Yeah, Gorilla that. Glue expands. But that's that's what it looks like with the stuff we're using. This is the heavy duty construction adhesive, all purpose. It's good indoor, outdoor. Um, it'll hold uh, holds in thirty seconds. That's why we use it. It's fast grab, is what they call it. What is there to do in Utah? So Every Utah day. is a beautiful state, especially if you like to be outside. So we have waterfalls. We have lots of national parks, gorgeous canyons. We've kayaking. got a full-blown theme park if you like rides. Oh yeah, you can go to Lagoon. <laughs> it has a world-renowned roller coaster at Lagoon. Um, what's that one called? The Cannibal. So go on YouTube and type in Lagoon water, or Lagoon Park and then type in the word Cannibal Ride and you should be able to see videos of the Cannibal Ride. It's pretty intense. It's such a cute little amusement park that really isn't that little. No, spot. they've got so many rides. I would say they've got more rides than Disneyland. Uh, maybe as not more, like but they're closer show. together because it's more about the rides and less I don't about know. The they got a t I mean, I guess if you count, they got a ton of roller coasters. If you like roller coasters, they've got like 10 really good big roller coasters. Yeah, it's cool. There's lots to do in Utah. Lots of water parks here. Um, uh, if it's winter time, we got all the winter sports, skiing, yeah. sledding. You can go down, running. they have in Park City, they have, because we've had the Olympics here, they have the old bobsled tracks that you can ride, like slide down, they're called the Alpine Slides. Those you can do that in fun. the summer too. That's, yeah, that it's in the summer, saying? yeah. You, I, you wouldn't want to go down the alpine slide in the winter. Like, you can go down in a bobsled. They well, got them functional. <laughs> I guess there's that. There's they, lots of zip lines. It's where they train for the Olympics. Now that they got it set up, they come and train. All right. Okay, so we're going to let these dry a little bit. Um, and then we're going to do the drawer. So it's 1047. I'm going to go, let's put these outside just to get a little crust on the top. Because they won't be all the way dry. But I'll do, I'll just put a couple out there. That way we can do a couple drawers and show them what the drawer's gonna look okay. like. Okay, just put them all out there. It's hard to carry all of them. Well, I'll carry all of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Okay. Someone's gotta stay here and say hi. Somebody's gotta be the circus I'm, monkey. I'm the traveling guy today. All right, you're the traveling guy. Zeb's gonna go grab those drawers and we'll show you the new 12 transfer. If you've been here for 45 minutes, you are dedicated wanting to see this transfer. The transfer is kind of a brownish gray color, so I'm hoping that it helps tie into the weathered wood feet and the weathered wood top. If I was not putting a transfer on the drawers, I probably would not have two-toned this in this manner, but I'm hoping that it kind of pulls it all together. And my ultimate plan is to weather wood and white wax the knobs. So we'll see what happens. Let's see if there's any more questions. People are saying they love Utah. Yeah. All right, these are all the way dry. We need to do like a Jamie's Guide to Utah. <laughs> I'll tell you all my favorite places to shop and you know that we've got we like food up here there are eat. hundreds of really good mom and pop restaurants just all over the place yeah it's really fun so utah it's not a super well-known fact but it's actually the number one economy in the nation and has been for a while so we actually have a lot of really fun stuff to do here 
um, because the economy is booming and growing. Lehigh was one of the fastest growing cities in the nation, and now Eagle Mountain is, which is the city that butts up next to Lehigh. But there's also a lot of history and like a small town feel. It's actually Roundup Week here in Utah. The rodeo's in town. It's rodeo, or not in Utah, sorry, Lehigh. So there's um, flags all up and down Main Street, and then at the rodeo grounds, which literally we can hear the rodeo from our front porch, they have these flags, not like American flags, but like the banner flags all across the street, and it's really fun. There's activities every day, and then Friday night, Eliza's in the parade. Saturday morning, there's another parade that my boys are in with Odelia, so it's fun. Yep, they get a walk with the, the Lehigh youth football is walking with the high school football guys. Okay, it's time to do some transferring. We might be a couple minutes long. I know you guys are sad about that always. I gotta do some Patty, drawer repair later. This is queen bee mixed with bee board. So two parts queen bee to one part bee board is how we made this color. So look at this sealed. You can see the color difference, sealed and unsealed. You can see the shade difference there. It got a little overcast, so now we're getting the true mustardy look. All right, so we're gonna be using the IOD English twall, and it has sheep, but you can see the color it's very close to weathered wood, so I think that this is really going to tie the whole piece together. I'm excited. This comes with eight sheets of twelve that line up, so Zeb's going to have to do that because of, we all know precision work is not my jam. We got you guys hopefully up close where you can see good. My arm's not in the way the whole time. IOD transfer comes with a transfer stick. Okay. It used to be wood, but now they're plastic. And there's other transfer companies I know that don't have these bomb sticks. They're awesome. They make all the difference. I'm not going to mention any of the other transfer companies. I think I'm going to try something here. This, this could get interesting. Do you want me to move that? Look at that. Look at so if I line them up like this, I can just carry the pattern. Oh, across? Yeah. That's fine. Let's do that. Um, so here's the thing, though. These drawers are all different sizes, so let's figure out which drawer goes where before you They're not. No, this, this bottom one is definitely bigger. Oh, uh, all right. Okay, so then I'll do these two right here because that's the bottom one. Okay. You guys are getting some close-ups today. transfers let me know they used to come in tubes and now they come flat which makes them a easier to ship and b i feel like a lot easier to use i also love the grid system should i cut this off or should i not worry about that little strip on the bottom? i would not worry about that strip i'll just go a well little, i'll go a little high actually you know what low. let's cut it in case we need it to match up to another one no, okay we're committed now you'll go a little high you're going to center it yeah kind of Here's your stick. I brought, I already gave you a stick. That was my stick. I'm going to help you. Here, I'm going to do another one right next to you. No, you got it. Sweetie, you got to do this first because it goes back. Oh, it goes over it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. This is going to be a little bit involved because this is a very detailed transfer. The big flowers are a lot easier. But these new ones come right off. They so. do. If you guys ever saw a struggle with the old transfers on fresh finishes, it was uh, it was funny to watch. So you just push against it, and it's like a little rub-on transfer situation. You can hear it crackling, and that means it's coming off. And if you accidentally pull it up and it doesn't come off, just put it back down. It's fine. The reason why you want to wait and not have a fresh finish is because occasionally it will peel the finish up underneath. You know, you should have cut this so that... It's okay. When we go over it, it'll cut itself. All right, let it's... me do this side then. Because I can't work over you. Can you guys see this? Yeah, I think they can see pretty good. I'm going to roll back as I go so you guys can get an idea of what this looks like. It's kind of nerve-wracking to do this live. We do it, we've done it like three times in the last two weeks. I know. I don't know why it is that. <laughs> 
Here, can you guys see the image getting put on there? I also love the white, but the fact that it's clear so the paint of the dresser shows through. I'll let you finish this. I'm gonna look up the dresser that I loved. That was my inspiration. You I think you like. can find that? Yeah. When did we go, March? Yeah, it's early March. No, it's late March. Late March. Ooh, we almost lost that guy's head. Off with his head! Get you guys a good close up so you can really see the detail on this transfer here in just a sec when I'm done putting this on. It's going pretty fast for how detailed this is. All right, I found it. Here's the piece. Can you guys see? That's the piece that I was inspired by. You can see it has a dark top, painted feet, mustard base, and twall. I actually think that's a little more yellow than this. Yeah, it's still a little lighter than this one, but. Joyce, you're looking for printables. Um, Joyce, email customercare at jamierayvintage.com. We might have to see if you're still signed up to be a channel member because I don't see a bird by your name, which means this account that you're on doesn't have access to it. But we'll help you out. We'll figure it out. Um, the printables have been fun. We're using all the uh, decoupage paper elements that we've been using getting commercial licensing on for printables for channel members. And if you're in business coaching, you have access to all of that as well. It's like a double. Kai's in for it. So Kai accidentally said toilet instead of twelve, but retracted it. And Leslie's like, what? Don't retract it. Now I don't know what you said. <laughs> Maybe you can paint larger pieces the day before than just show a sped up version of that portion than live transfer finishing. Probably not. Well, so we do this. I feel like this is probably about as organized as I get, which because I painted these ahead of time and we drilled. Well, we can't really show you in a live stream what this the, that looks like. Like we try to give you all the steps in about an hour. Yeah. Also, and I yes, you don't get to see start to finish what it looks like in the end. You got to come back and find a picture on community, but. I feel like this gives you a real good, real-time view of what it's going to take to do these projects. I'm also not organized. Part of being like a creative person means it's really difficult to be organized, at least for me. But we do try. If you want edited videos, we have tons of these that are about 9, 10, you know, up to 15 minutes. Yeah, we, We've used um, transfers hundreds of times. <laughs> I actually did plan this out last night which is better than the five minutes before we go live, which happens on occasion. So this is a better thought out live. I've been working on it. Teresa says, I'd love to see that transfer on pink. Oh my gosh, on kissing booth, it would be gorgeous. Or even light pink. Sandra says, oh no combo, I see. I prefer the lives. I think the lives are fun. I like to, you guys come up with really great questions while we're in the moment. And I feel like for people that really want answers to specific things, that live videos are great because we learn together. Oh, Caitlin says Joan addicted on his bike, not wearing a helmet. I can't watch comments. No worries, Caitlin. Go take care of Jonah. We're almost finished. Don't worry about Ivy. Tell him that I hope he feels better, poor baby. Um, I know Delia, she's not here. Eliza's home. It's fine. I'll just watch them. Pool update. We are getting cement pumped under the pool Thursday. Thursday. And then we've got to wait for some electrical to be finished and we'll have coping going on soon. So I'm just taking my finger and I broke the transfer right there. And what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom will be what it is. So now we got to put another page on there. And then it's still not going to cover it, so we'll have, we'll have to, to do. We we'll might have to cut it a little. Yeah. Oh, Kate, uh, Ivy's here. Hi, Ivy. Thanks for taking care of it while Caitlin takes care of her little boy. Summer is hard. Leslie says I need a good recipe for adult pink. So, one of the pinks that I really love, like a rose pink, is when you mix cowboy coral and petticoat pink with a drop of kissy pink. It's a really pretty rosy pink. So try that one out. I don't have the exact. Uh, mix. Robin says, Ivy, feel better. Ivy, I let the cat out of the bag that you haven't been feeling good. I hope you're feeling better today. I felt bad. I called her yesterday and I'm like, oh, you're still sick. 
Ivy is the woman. <laughs> Ivy has two little kids too. Oh, Ivy, I checked that box of junk that you left at the shop for me and Hal's magnet was not in there. So before I forget to tell you, it's not in there. I hope you find this magnet. Hal was with Ivy junking um, and she picked some stuff at the shop up for me for the shop and somehow he lost this magnet. So laid it down, lined up. It's then, 11 o'clock. All right, I'm going to grab a knob from outside okay. and paint it real quick. Here, we're going to come from this angle so you guys aren't just getting shoulder the whole time. Okay, so I'm just trying to break this at the top so that it'll start rolling over the edge here for me. Here's our knobs that we just did. Can they gonna, see in the corner over yeah, there? I'm going to paint these while Zeb finishes that up. This yellow is a color that I saw a lot like when we were in France. Marie Antoinette's like castle, what is it called? Palace? That's her palace. Had a lot of yellows and pinks and painted furniture was really pretty. I like to put it on nice and thick. Kind of fills in the cracks. I'm going to heat gun this so you'll see me off camera doing that. You have to be delicate if it's not dry. It's really best to let it dry overnight. But ain't nobody got time for that. Not on a live video. Can you guys see how these are going together so easy? You could take this whole scene and just run it all the way across. And I think it'll even go down. They've designed it so that it'll come down too. I'd have, I'll have to check on that. I don't know 100%, but I think it does. It goes both ways. So you could do really, if you had a couple of these transfers, you could just keep repeating this for a long way. I think it'd be really cool wall art. The transfer that never ends. Well, if you think of how expensive wallpaper is. And hard to put up. I did not love putting up wallpaper. I did not love putting up wallpaper. Oh, her vinyl? The vinyl's easy. We've got to get it in again. Let's bang it. Just hit it a little, it'll make it work better. <laughs> who, who whacks electronics or things that aren't working to try to get them to work right? Alright, so we're going to be a couple minutes long here. We've been live for 58 minutes. It's going to take me a little longer than that to get this going. And then we'll put some knobs on here and show you what it'll look like in the dresser. So you have an idea. The finished product, as we were talking earlier, will, you can find it on stories, um, in the community tab. So we'll put it on all the socials so you guys can find it easy and see what it turned out like. And if you're watching this video years from now, <laughs> it's uh, June 22nd, 2021. And I'll also put the finished product in the thumbnail. And try to make little pictures. Like if, because we can update that later, I do that. I put a lot of paint on these, so it's taking a minute to dry them. Oh, did you really glob it on? You know, you know how I do. Show you a little peek of what that's looking like. You kind of have to glob it on when they're wet. Thank you, Sally. I think it's looking pretty great too. I'm gonna to have to cut one of the transfers just a little bit, but then I'll start it on another drawer, I think.
This corner over here is being stubborn. I don't know here show them. I don't know if they can see that right so you well. can see they match this a little bit better but then we'll do some white wax on them but we're gonna have to let them cool down a little bit it's hot just in case you guys want this transfer we now have shipping on everything except for DIY paint products is free shipping doesn't matter how much you spend or how how little you spend the jamierayvintage.com website, all the paint products, brushes, except for DIY, because we, we, we uh, their company policy is an even playing field for everyone. But we're doing free shipping on all that stuff. So spread the word and come get some paint and make some projects, get all your summer projects done. Almost done, so you guys can. We'll, we'll back up here in a sec. Right, don't, don't right, let me check out comments. No free shipping to Canada, no, it's only to the contiguous 48 states. Oh, yeah, forgot to disclaim that. It's all over the website, though, it says it. I had to wear my apron today because I love this shirt and I didn't want paint on it. All right, so ordinarily you would wait for these to not be still uh, dampish, the paper clay, but I'm gonna go ahead and white wax these and wipe them back so you guys can see what they look like. They're still warm, so it kind of melts the wax when it goes on. Be very, very careful if you are doing it like this and the clay is still wet because you don't want to lose the integrity of the impression, which can happen very quickly. Oh, camera's on here. Oh, well, yeah. I was white waxing. Sorry. I'm going to buy so, some scissors. This right is here. what it looks like with white wax. This is what it looks like just painted. And now I'm just going to wipe back the wax so that way it sits down into all the detail and I'm going to do it very gently so I don't lose all the detail and then I'll have to wait until it's all the way dry and then I'll buff it really good and that weathered wood will come back. All right, sheet number three. I think this comes with one, two, three, four. So this gives five. you an idea of the knob going on here. So this comes with eight sheets. Can you guys see that? So it'll get, the weathered wood will be more pronounced when I buff it once it's all the way dry, but this is just weathered wood. This is white waxed and then I'll buff it and some of the dark color will come back through. But I wipe back quite a bit. All right, so I'm gonna cut it down this line here just to give it a little extra. Because we're a little extra. I have a line on the other side where it doesn't roll over the edge, so we'll have to sand it to make it look natural. Correct. Just cutting right down this grid line here. Are there any videos that I missed of a full walkthrough of the upstairs of the house, the house that we live in? We I've haven't done a, done a full walkthrough, walkthrough on up or down. <laughs> we actually live here and it's never clean all at the same time. And when I say never clean, I'm as in, I'm not letting you see it. <laughs> but we did do a bunch of photographs of a majority of the house, except for the kids' rooms, um, in the, the upcoming Turquoise Irish Journal. And that's going to be released, I think, let me see, what did Dion text me? She said... It's in July, like mid-July. 
Oh, um, did you, when you paid for the boys' football, Zeb, did you do Jack and forget to put the last name? Um, maybe. All right, I gotta, don't let me forget to follow up on that. All right, let me find Dion's text. I got distracted by mom's stuff. I haven't picked up my phone in a while. Dion. <sighs> July 16th, that's when the Turquoise Irish Journal comes out, and you guys can see a bunch of pictures. We cleaned up the house all at the same time. We've got the porch, we've got the main living area, our bedroom, our bathroom, and the family room are all included that. Oh, and the mudroom. So that's going to be in that. And maybe we'll do the journal again and work on Well, we'll see. Things. She, I sent her a bunch of pictures. I don't know what she's going to use. So if she doesn't show something, we probably will. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. Well, I told Dion that we would do a video the same day the Turquoise Irish Journal comes out to share some of the areas that didn't get the pictures put in the journal. And we also wrote an article for the journal, so that's in there too. Um, We're looking a little fuzzy today. Check your DPI. Let me see. Looks pretty decent on my replay. Um, Teresa says, understandable, not showing the whole house. Just curious. Yeah, we have it. We've done videos of Odelia's room, um, our bedroom, and our bathroom, so you can watch those. Room. And the boys' room. So that kind of pieces together. Oh, and the laundry room. So if you watch all the videos independently, you can piece them together. So really the only spaces we haven't shown are the loft, the kids' bathroom, and Eliza's room. And those spaces aren't done yet, so. A good blue for a more style clock. Um, ocean is really pretty. We just did that. But you could also mix like prom queen and petal pusher would make a really pretty um, warm cloth blue. All right, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's let's put it in and see. So the dresser that I showed you guys, um, there was the round top dresser, was uh, wallpaper. So this is very similar to that. That's going to be really cool across the whole thing. Yeah, I think it's awesome. I'm going to put this knob in here to give you guys an idea of what that will look like. Oops. The paint was still a little you mean wet. It? Yeah. Careful the mold is still drying. So like I said, when the weathered wood and the clay is all the way dry, I'll buff that knob really good and the dark color will come through. But you can see that weathered wood, do you have yellow on your hands? just a little but it's not on your thing I'm really sure it's, it's, it's really dry okay like listen Linda <laughs> oh that goes the other way oh it goes upside down good because I needed tighter. it tighter oh good <laughs> um, you can see that weathered wood and white wax is actually the perfect combo for the twall so if you're trying to match is that this, your only one um, well this one isn't white waxed I wanted to wait till it dried a little more do you want okay. me to white no, wax it fine. so you can see it I'll, I'll bring them in close we'll so they can close, see but you can definitely tell the weathered wood white wax perfect combo to match this match this twall we're done good. I'll probably wind up white waxing the top and the feet too, so that way they match the knobs. Yep, these feet. All right. Pop quiz. Where do you go to find finished products from the live streams on Wednesdays? JamieRayVintage.com. <laughs> um, if you guys are interested, when this is all complete, it will be sold at jrvhome.com with all that we've got going on in this dresser. When it's finally completed, it'll probably be somewhere in the $295 range for the dresser, about $300 for shipping, so somewhere around $595. And I'll get that listed in the next few days once we complete it. Thanks for joining us today for this live video. Head over to jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products we used. And of course, ask any questions and comments and we'll try to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye guys, love you. Thanks for joining us.